Welcome back to our Warp World. Who cares what episode we're on? Do we, we care anymore? No, I know we're season two. Season two, episode five, six, we're something like that. We're almost a year in. I don't know how we we're have to th- season two without <laughs> even being a year in. I don't know how that works. You but. took a month off for Christmas. Well, I know, but do we just, so we did it on the fiscal year, I guess, is what we Sure, did. whatever. Yeah, okay, because it definitely wasn't on a, like anything else, but yeah, we're on season two, episode four, five, five six. I, we're on the episode after the last one you listened to, and if you didn't listen to it, go back and listen and to it, please. And if you guys keep on listening, we're coming up on our big year year reunion year uh, show so yeah that Kayla's extra excited about you can tell so yeah, calm down over there yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you go yeah, okay well in typical our work world fashion we are going to celebrate two days after the holiday it's our may the fourth be with <laughs> dun, 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 you dun, dun. Dun, dun. We're not allowed. we can't use thanks Spotify we can't use any Star Wars <laughs> dun, 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 dun. and okay. this is actually <laughs> something that uh, Kayla if I'm not mistaken has bonded a little bit with your dad over Star Wars since you've been a kid sure I've dragged her but at least she knows what we're talking about when we talk about it I'll tell you my my that was my favorite part of Star Wars was um, Kayla and I for the prequels and for the I guess we'll call them the sequel trilogy. Wait, how many are there now? There's nine movies. Okay. Original trilogy. Right. Star Wars, Empire, Jedi. The prequels, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. Then the Disney-fied Force Awakens, First Jedi. Those are what everybody's forgotten about. No, they just started. Those oh. are the most recent ones. <laughs> was that, what, that was the one. Who was the girl in the most recent one? She's kind of. Ray. Daisy yeah. Ridley. Oh, I'm thinking the one before that then. Uh, uh, Natalie Portman? Is yeah, Pat, Pat Portman. Man? That's who I'm okay. thinking is Natalie Portman. What are you thinking? What is, you don't like her? Uh, I don't know if I liked her in the role. Oh, okay. Yeah. She seemed too girlish. But anyways, we can talk about that. as But <laughs> but for the for the, the prequel trilogy and for this last three, except for the last one, Kayla and I always went to the drive-in opening week. That's cool. To see it in the middle of the night. Um, we'd either try to make the eight o'clock show when it started or we end up at the midnight show because i gotta work late or something like that that's good that's cool that was where we saw the premiere for the last for five of the last six episodes so mark um over the man 40 something years you and i have never really bonded over star wars do you even watch them do you like i do when they're on yeah i mean I'll, i'll if i haven't seen one i'll turn them on and i'll go ahead and i'll let it go i mean who was the guy that played a grown up anakin he's kind of a big star now who uh, not very big star Hayden Christensen. Yeah, Hayden Christensen. No, not it, very big. You're thinking of Ewan McGregor. No, I'm uh, thinking who, who who grew up with this being the he turned into a bad guy. That would be Hayden Christensen turned into. No, he's got he's got long. Oh, gray. uh, what'd you call him? Big Dick. Oh, Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Driver's son. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. what I. Adam Driver, yes, he is the bad guy in the sequel trilogies. Right, so I, I didn't mind him. He was all right. What did you like of him? What Do you like any of the older, newer ones or anything? No, I don't like the new ones. They're too Disney, whatever. And then I always like the prequels because I don't like anything from the 80s or the 70s. <laughs> so I like the ones that I saw as a child. Okay, so you like the, the prequel trilogies. I, I'm loyal to the original series um i do think visually the prequels were pretty good well yeah they should be um yeah but those are the ones that george lucas still made they're just visually better obviously better uh graphics and animation and stuff or not animation but you know better special effects right these last three that uh disney had their whole hold of yeah they continued the story but once they killed off uh spoiler alert once they killed off luke skywalker in in the second one then i was kind of so or the the, Man- when they killed off Han, I was kind of pissed off, but I understood Harrison Ford. So reason. the Mandalorian is a series now. It's not Mandalorian a- is a series that takes place between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens. And wasn't the the guy who's following you? Wasn't he a bad guy? Wasn't it Boba Fett? Or did they do one about Boba Fett too? A movie about him? They did a series of uh, the Book of Boba Fett. And now, who takes care of uh, the Mandalorian? What do you mean? Who's the character that? The Mandalorian is actually the the good guy oh, in the okay. series. We right. we like the Mandalorian, and it, for those of you that don't know Star Wars, Boba Fett and Din Djarin is the Mandalorian. They they all come from the planet Mandalore, so they're all technically Mandalorians. Um, I didn't even know there were planets. <laughs> yeah, they have wow. the planet Mandalore. Anyway, um, but yeah, the Book of Boba Fett also takes place around the same time that uh, 
that uh, Mandalorian takes place. For me, I don't know, again, you're probably not interested. For me, the best Star Wars I've seen since the prequel trilogies is the Obi-Wan series that was on. Oh, that was, I forgot about that. That spun off too. Yeah, and that took place between uh, episode three and episode four, um, where Lee and Luke are only like 10 years old or something like that. But that was that was a really, really good uh, Star Wars stuff. I totally forgot about it. Do you have a favorite character that you remember? No, not really. Not any honest. of them that you like to... Hey, Jar Jar? I always joke that Jar Jar is my favorite just to piss, piss people off. But I just other like than the that, way he talked. Okay, it was like that, right? <laughs> Wasn't it something like that? I mean, that? when I was like 10, he was really cool because he was Jar-Jar. whatever. But other than that... He was the per- first um, tr- gay trans uh, <laughs> oh <my laughs> alien, God. I think he was. I, I do. I really do believe that was when they no, introduced he, the gay trans he just alien. just had special needs. Oh, was know. he the first special? Oh, was he okay? That's no. a good debate. Was he a special? No, he was just or? he was supposed to be comic relief. He was just wacky and and whatever. I think he was the first gay Star Wars character. He was not received well by most of the Star Wars world. He did, most people didn't like him. Well, I, I think most Star Wars people probably don't want a gay person in their shows. It's not about whether he's gay or not. It's about because I'd watch uh, it. I think it'd be cool. The uh, the last episode, episode nine or whatever. Um, the Rise of Skywalker, That's that's got openly gay mm. stuff going on. But I don't think gay is an issue here, Mark. <laughs> I it's not. I'm just saying I think they introduced Jar Jar as a gay anyway, character. O- Obi-Wan, because you, you and McGregor came back as Obi-Wan in this series. <laughs> Hayden Christensen actually put on the Darth Vader suit and was Darth Vader in the series, which I thought was the, the best part about it. I wasn't a big fan of Hayden Christensen, but him wearing the Darth Vader suit and kind of showing that in between of the final scene where he becomes Darth Vader and in Star Wars, you know, in Rogue One and stuff like that, where he is Darth Vader, seeing that kind of growing up part. And they didn't, I wish they'd do a series focusing on that. I think it'd be great. Yeah, I, I don't know if I had a favorite character. I always liked Han Solo. He yeah, was Han, cool. Han Solo was my favorite character, obviously, you know. Carrie but, Fisher was hot back in the day. Yeah. She she, she finally got her star in Hollywood Walk of Fame. They just gave it to it's her on, on May 4th. Her daughter, who was in uh, the last three movies, um, accepted for Mark Hamill was there. But you'd be shocked at how many people do this May 4th thing. I mean, it's, it's well, that's half, thing. My, half the people that I met were talking, hey, may the 4th be with you. I, my cousin oh. out of nowhere, may the 4th be with you. I'm like, hey, Kenny, good to, you, good to talk to you. you know? All right. I like Star Wars, but I never got into the whole celebration of it or you're not going to see me going to the movie theater wearing a Darth Vader helmet or anything. You wouldn't go to Comic-Con like that? No. my I didn't even want to go. Uh, Return of the Jedi is back in theaters for its 40th anniversary this year. And I did not want to go th- Thursday because I didn't want to sit next to some cosplay Furby guy wearing a <laughs> Ewok suit. I, just... That's gross. So <laughs> Some people are into that. Very yeah. offensive in this episode. That is... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. All I did was say that Jar Jar was gay. That's all I said. I didn't say anything else. That's our March or May Fourth. May. 4th. That's our That's May Fourth. Yeah, our big ten and minute. We will talk about Star Trek one of these days and give the Trekkies their uh, their time because to Trekkies they hate this day or hated the May Fourth. <laughs> yeah, they all do. the Trekkies going to hide. They don't it, have a day. The Trekkies will have a day. No, they well, they don't have a May Fourth day. Though. Well, they, they should. I mean, you, the Trek should. But what date? I don't even know what day you would give them. Yeah, because like NC seventeen oh one seventeen oh one is the the number on the ship, so you couldn't really get a date out of that. I mean, uh, Star Trek had no like. How do I say it? You had the Force be with you. Had, it had no taglines. Yeah, it had and no taglines at all on any of them. What did you say, Kale? Is it an also with you? Yeah, no. <laughs> that's right. But, but they didn't have a tagline, so you couldn't. No, they they. Uh, well, I mean, beam me up or oh, yeah, make beam it so. Me up. You know, but they didn't really nothing that I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. I mean, I remember that was, <laughs> yeah, that was that, popular every. But yet nothing. And then that, the shot of life. Remember, they're dead, and all McCoy did would come up and give you a shot, and you'd pop well, up. He first he'd run that big lighter over. Oh yeah, that's right. He'd, <laughs> that's right. Then he'd give you. She'd pull out the shot, and you'd be you weren't dead anymore. Yeah, it was, a, it was unbelievable. Can't wait. Can't wait till we get to that day and age where you just run a pick later yeah. over and you feel good. Yeah, it's great. It was fantastic. But yeah, we had to touch on this. I mean, we do these stupid little holidays. We'll do I, an Arbor I, Day. I, I actually sent it. I actually believe in it. This, this is the nerdiest thing you'll ever hear me say. Oh, no. I don't believe that, though. Do you? <laughs> no. No, exactly. No. Uh, I, well, because I, I follow Mark Ham, Hamill on, uh, on Instagram. So I actually sent a message um, 
imagine how different the world would be had you chosen David over Luke. Thanks. Happy fourth. Okay. So Mark Hamill, if for those of you old people remember the show Eight is Enough. Yeah. Mark Hamill played the oldest son, David, in the pilot. By the time the series was picked up, he had to choose between David on the series or Luke as Star Wars. So can you just imagine the world if he had chosen with the series versus oh, yeah. the movies. That'd yeah, be... that there would, well, he still would have been big, I think. I mean, but, uh, I, I mean I what, how many where, other where, movies where, are Mark wait, Hamill in? But where's Grant Goodeve now? Grant Goodeve? He's the name of the actor that played David. <laughs> uh, well, Grant Goody, that's right. He did play. Uh, true. But no, Mark Hamill, um, he voices the Joker in the Batman uh, animated stuff. He, uh, he oh, had, I'm sure he's had a career. Yeah, he's had other big, mostly voiceover work. he hasn't work. been in big movies. Oh, no, no, no. As in Star no. Wars. After the three Star Wars, you've never really heard. He made cameos in stupid movies. But Yeah, well, he was, um, he was concerned because the accident he got in um, right before Empire Strikes Back gave him some bad scars on his face. So he didn't uh, he didn't go after a whole bunch of movies because he was very uh, insecure about the uh, scars on his face. Now it's and that also perfect. explains the scene of Star Wars with the Wampa attack. The big uh, snow beast um, attacked him. Did he say Wampa? That was the name of the creature. Shut oh, up! I'm a nerd. Um, that was the name of the uh, creature, but they to explain the scars on his face. Nice. So. You are a plethora of, of Star useless Wars, information. Useless Star Wars knowledge. <laughs> if you have any stupid questions, or not stupid, I'm not going to say, if you have any questions about Star Wars, I think you should uh, get on our Facebook page and send them over Jim Way. And if he doesn't know them, <laughs> call him out. But I bet you he'll know about 80% of them. If not, if, he'll research if it. I, if I don't know it, I'll find it. Well, all right, yeah, <laughs> but y'all have was, Google too. Anyway. That's good. Well, good. Well, that's, br- that's our. I bring up. Uh, I bring up the uh, Mark Hamill playing David, and then Grant Goody playing David, and we're going to go into uh, switching dicks. Yeah, we are switching dicks. Switching dicks. That's what my wife would like to do. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to switch dicks. So everyone knows of the the show Bewitched, where um, Dick Sargent, or no, it was Dick York first, mm-hmm. and then about two seasons in, they switched to Dick Sargent. Right, so, and we so we got to talking the other day about shows that they didn't kill off the main character, but they kept one of the main characters and just brought in somebody else. Like yeah, next a week, different like, a different actor. They and there wasn't dicks. a ton. Like I I brought up the Riverdale one. I don't know if people there was one with Riverdale, but the only one that I really knew that I think everybody would know was Roseanne. And freaking they brought uh, they didn't bring someone in to play Roseanne. No, no, no. They brought in Becky. So Becky was actually the new Uh, Becky, and they just Uh, uh, Garrison Garrison. I think can't remember her name. And then Sarah Chalk from Scrubs. You might remember as Elliot from Scrubs. She came in to play Becky. Then for a while there, they were just switching back and forth. And actually, one of the episodes where they were going to Disneyland. They ran into each other. No, no, no. Roseanne turns to Sarah Chalk playing Becky and says, aren't you happy you're Becky this week? Okay. <laughs> Something like that. So they actually, I love when shows make fun of stuff like that. Yeah, but, uh, but there was the original John Boy on the Waltons, they just replaced him. Right. So, uh, which I, I didn't know. There was a couple other ones. Who did you I, say? You said uh, Aunt Viv? Oh, yeah. Aunt Viv on uh, Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Yeah. But there were there were a ton on a Game of Thrones. Apparently, when I pulled all this up on the, uh, the internet, there was like four or five on Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, what about Harry Potter? What about uh, who's what's the character's name with the long beard? Dumbledore. Dumbledore wasn't Dumbledore. he played by wasn't he played by two different people? I think it was three different ones because I oh, think really? the well I don't I, I know the first one I think died from like cancer or something right right and then they had a second one but I think for the very last one there was a third guy. Oh, see, I didn't know there was a third Yeah, I, I mean, know. I was saying, it. it happens a lot on soap operas. I mean, there's always oh, yeah. different, different they, they actually put disclaimers. The part yeah. of Jack is played by... The best part about <laughs> soap operas is they have babies, and three weeks later, they're 18, and they how, have their own how many How lines. many bows have there been, uh, Peanut Gallery over there? Four bow, bows on Days of Our Lives. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Peter Reckle, and what's the other guy that I like? Yeah, Carla made me watch. But, you know, I know that it's a cartoon, <laughs> but we talked about this with uh, Family Guy with, uh, you know, um, whoever played originally and then Mila Yeah, Kunis. that's what's sad is that one originally <laughs> exactly. doesn't even remember. So that's what, and it, Mila Kulis is lining up the money. Yeah, well, no, we we had come up with some other things, Aunt Viv, and then there was another one. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we should do better show press. Yes. <laughs> well, it was just an end hour what we were taught with that. So. There was only two Dumbledores. The original one did the first two movies, and then 
someone else came in and did the other movies until two. So Google, like I did, characters that uh, were... Well, I mean, I have plenty, like, from shows that I've seen. Well, like, that's what we want to know, because there's... Mom brought up One Tree Hill, Peyton's dad... Right, three that was on actors. the list. Right. And then I know I used to watch The Fosters. They had whoever playing a character, and then it, all of a sudden he went to, like, a wrestling camp, and then came back, and it was a completely different dude. Like, two feet taller, wow. like, buffer. So they just never explained why they got rid of whatever, but they had this other person come in huh. or same with that. like boy Me- boy meets world back in the 90s they had um morgan the little sister obviously at some point she needed to grow up with the rest of them and so since she was so much younger they had her disappear and then all of a sudden she showed up and she's like 10 years old oh yeah when they're you know now in high school or whatever or in college right, right. well they did change out carol in in Friends, there was an original Carol in there. And there oh, you're right. Else. They did change her out. They changed out the first Morty Seinfeld, Seinfeld's dad. They changed him out after season one. Okay. And left his dad, huh. his his in there. So, but they're as for mostly they kill you off. I mean, most recently, just the Goldbergs. They killed off freaking uh, the dad. Yeah. Or with the grandpa. No, the dad, uh, because he had arrested for like a DUI or something, so oh, they, they killed did, him off. I did not know that. Well, he was also an entourage. He's big. I mean, he's a big well, dude. So, so Jeff just, Garland, that's his name. Yeah, well, just going into shows that the main characters have killed off, but they still survived. We were talking, um, these two are big fans of Grey's Anatomy. Out of a cast of, let's say, eight, there's only two original cast members. And they've Ooh. lived through some major shit, man. But they, only like two of them have died. Yeah, but I'm just saying they re- they cycle through different characters and they leave in the main character, Gray. Uh, well, they leave McDreamy and he just came back. He's dead, but they bring him back from time yeah, to time. Yeah, I mean, Yeah, ghost. but Mer- Meredith Gray of Gray's Anatomy, she's gone, but yeah. she just left like last year, right? We don't talk about that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she still voices the project. But I think back to the 90s of 90210, there was only like two or three of the original cast from that. Thing. Well, the problem is, is because Grey's Anatomy has been going on for damn near 20 years at this point. Right, so right. these people are sick of being in this show. Right. So, I mean, it's the same like Yellowstone. This is now public knowledge, but Yellowstone's leaving be, or ending because Kevin Costner's leaving. Uh-huh. So it's like instead of dry, trying to drag it on without him or possibly killing him off, I've never seen Yellowstone. We watched one episode and I got really confused and I never went back. So it's like they might not even just kill him off and end the series instead of trying to drag it out. Right. But what other shows can you think of that like you know cycle through the whole cast? Mash. The Sopranos. The Sopranos were killing people off every week. Oh, okay. I mean um, they yeah, I mean they're they're guys the crew is getting murdered or they're getting yeah, so the Sopranos. That's kind of like you would expect that to happen. Right, but they do. You would just Game of Thrones <laughs> was main characters getting axed in Oh like, yeah, that was a big the first thing. two or three Never that was a big thing, though. That they, they were, were killing off major surprisingly characters. too. No one yeah. even knew that it was happening. But right. I remember, like Mash, Mash only had two of its original cast members by the end. That show went eleven years. So, Alan Alda and Loretta Swit. Yeah, the well, last two remaining original. You know, uh, Klinger, Jamie. Klinger Farr. was original. He, he was, Radar was an original. Ra- yeah, but Radar left. Oh, Radar did leave before yeah. the show ended. And Klinger yeah. actually was not original. He was a bit player um, well, somewhere I, in season two. And I read that, and then they decided to bring him full time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And same with uh, Father Mulcahy and stuff like that. But any other shows you can think of where most of the, the main characters are gone? Yeah. Oh, there you go. 24 when... But, okay. Here I like go. the premise of 24. It's 12 two-hour shows. I like that. And it, it ends. No, it's not. No, well, it's it was 24, 24 one-hour show. Whatever. You know what I mean. But it ended. When, when I wrote to them and asked for 36, they said they could not do it. <laughs> I was in love with this show, and I actually sent them an email asking but I think for 36. They, how many seasons were there? Nine. But there were nine different the, seasons the last, of 24? The last three got kind of like, okay, you knew what was happening. And I think the ninth season was when they had a different... He wasn't Jack Bauer, though. It was just a different storyline, 24 hours of someone else saving the world, you know? Well, they so, always save the world. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I, usually they just kill him off, so... Yeah, but and that, that show, pretty much uh, Jack and Chloe were the only two that remained. Um, and then on an opposite... And Chloe wasn't even original. She wasn't even in the first season. 
And if any show brought on Ted McGlinley, your show is over a year later. So, Except Ooh. you're married with children. Do you watch Married with Children with your dad? No. Jefferson's Jefferson. Married with Children. I just said I don't watch it. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know who, who that For is. For everyone listening, you 54-year-olds and everything out there, you know who uh, Ted McGinley, he went on the love boat and that ended he brought, right They away. brought him in the happy days. That ended two years that later. That ended later. They brought him into love boat that lasted one season with Ted McGinley. And then they, uh, and then he got married with children, which actually, which actually went for like f- he was he, way went, seven than yeah, yeah, he, was he went seven seasons, yeah, he went seven seasons. Steve. Then he had a show with Kelly Kelly Ripa that only lasted like three years. So yeah, Ken McGinley, Ted McGinley, the show killer. That or if they bring <laughs> a, a kid on. I thought that was Rob Lowe's job. No, oh, Rob Rob Lowe does. You're that's a good call if you're if Rob. I am surprised nine one one Lone Star has made it this far with Rob Lowe as the main guy. He's been on like 80 shows. Uh, Well, what's that one we were watching? We uh, should do a six degree to freaking uh, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe. Um, I'm not good at that. There was, there's a show on Hulu. What's that? It's Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's, Rob Lowe's got a pretty good show on Netflix. That, uh, so he's doing I don't know Netflix why we don't just give mom an actual freaking microphone. Yeah, I don't I know, know why we don't either. I don't know. It just sounds... <laughs> well, she's, she's that mystery voice off in there. Not really. Now, <laughs> when you're act- yeah. actively she's been here on every episode. Yeah, every, everyone she, I mean, knows who she one. is. You weren't on <laughs> the only one. I think you only missed one, right? Doctor Weeds, like <laughs> two debut or something like that. Oh, that was big that you missed, Doctor. <laughs> That's true, Doctor Weeds debut. She missed that. All big. right. Well, if you can think of any other shows where they've uh, replaced the character or replace the character with a new actor same character so make a facebook post uh do yeah it. i'm just i'm that's what i'm saying go to our facebook page let us know we can't think of anything more because we're terrible at show prep first seven people that uh, reply get three dollar gift cards. no <laughs> no you don't no you don't you don't get anything you get a hearty thank you from jim i just can't believe we didn't have seven people actually vote on that they did you never paid them yeah, i don't I'm believe sure we did yeah well, I'll send five dollars. Well, Mark, it was, if it was you six I'm times, sh- I'm, I'm sure you, bucks. as the talent of the show, has been on the Facebook page. Right? Uh, of course, I have. <laughs> no, you haven't. It, it, do you have your own login <laughs> for the Facebook page? Yes, I do. It always changes me over to our warp world when I try to get on it. You know, yeah, that's the page you're that's supposed to look page at. Page you're supposed to be on. That's dog, you're stuck in the cord, buddy. But. The thing is, Mark doesn't even listen to the show. I so. do, too, listen to the show. <laughs> I do, too. So. All right. Well, let's take a little break, and we'll come back. We're going to talk, uh, I don't want to call it serious stuff, but the artificial intelligence and what it's doing to us. We are. We are, in fact. All right, we're back. We're talking about artificial intelligence. We are. Yeah, it's, it's coming up... Um, Wow, all over the place. I mean, obviously, we've we've talked we've we've touched on this before. And is it um, me, or does it seem like it just got real, real fast? Yeah. Like it, it, we've been developing it, but it, like it just like it was like dropped and like. Well, in the last few months, yeah. But when I'm hearing on the news that companies are are laying off five thousand people to replace them with AI, that's where it gets scary. Um, I just heard a uh, a carl's jr in our on the outskirts of our city in a town called buckeye has the first um ai drive through in the world and an ai person will take your complete order normally not right now i've experienced pulling up to hi welcome to whatever right we'll be with you shortly and that's an automatic voice then a real person comes on but now this uh, apparently it's supposed to be complete 100 percent ai is uh taking the order and everything so how do you send it back if they get it wrong exactly when you, you get to the window that's a real person that's not gonna be ai yet. it's oh. just oh, taking right. just so taking the order yeah i thought, the the yeah, I thought everything thing. was complete robot like not, I not yet Give no there's though. a mcdonald's somewhere i saw it on tiktok i think it's mcdonald's or taco bell all of it's completely just robots it'll bring the thing down at least that's what, what it I'm, looks like. What I'm scared about is uh, when we were 16. That's where we learned. Like, we met friends. We went to. We worked at fast food restaurants to when our first jobs. Yeah. So now, what are these kids going to be doing when they're uh, their first jobs? There's nothing out there for them now. There's. I mean, we're all going to end up like Wally on a big spaceship and sausage <laughs> toes and shit. Like that, that actually doesn't sound that bad. I mean. I don't, I don't know that. No, it, but it's scary if it our kids are going to like looking for gig work. There, there is even people that are teaching you. Um, you can, you can make money doing transcription work for people, right? So you get the transcription job; it's going to pay you 
$50 for 2,700 words. You take the tape that they send you, put it in an AI thing that will type it for you, and then you send it back. Make your 50 bucks, and you didn't do anything. See, I see the <laughs> 2,000 mom is punching the air right now, and she did that all by hand. Right. But why, why, why I understand that now, but eventually that middle person's going to be gone. That Yeah, eventually people will realize well, that they can, can do it themselves. Them and go, right. Yeah, I don't have to pay him 50 bucks. I can go pay the AI generator I mean, I five. read an article the other day where it was talking about how it, there's the Scott, or the uh, Scott, the um, uh, tips for the stock market. He, they were right on and it was easier to ask them for advice than go to a financial guy that's how dangerous this is to me that's see i have where you don't have to go if it knows more than your experts already that's just that's that's a little scary i mean the only ai i've dealt with is sorry folks alexa um but you know Alexa can tell me a joke she tells me some dad joke okay funny funny but, you good looking man, Jim Dubois. <laughs> but I haven't <laughs> Alexa, I love you. <laughs> I haven't every time I go to try a chat GPT thing where you ask it questions or ask it to write you a story, I mean they want fifteen dollars a month already for it. Well it I'm and not, people are paying it with no problem. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay for that. This I'm, one lady <laughs> is using it as her personal assistant. Sure. She goes, I just feel it as my personal assistant. It, it puts everything in order for me. It, so that's another thing. It's just eliminating the receptionist or the, I mean, yeah. it, it could just eliminate everything. I still feel like that's run by people though, because I just saw a job listing the other day that was to do that. That was what your job was to get these prompts and then make the thing. So I don't think it's actually technology doing it. I think well, it's people behind the scenes. Um... No, I. No, that's you know, what the job said. One of the things I've been trying when I was trying to make us some better artwork for the show, so I'd go into this thing. And I'm like, okay, I want a smiling world or something like that, and it would send me these pictures. I don't think there's a guy back there quickly drawing pictures or anything, then sending them to my know? phone. Well, maybe. <laughs> what if it's all an illusion? I could never get it. Wow, to, you're getting wow. All I right. could never get it to give me something I, like I wanted, thinking. but you know, again. um they'll tell you that you have to be very descriptive in what you want. So wait till you have some psycho that wants to marry a robot. Oh, they that's, do that. that's, I know, but we're, I know, but we're talking, this will be a regular thing. And then laws on that. Cherry, the robot get health Cherry 2000. That was the other movie from the eighties. Cherry 2000. Um, Cherry was, I his, remember uh, that porno. <laughs> no, Cherry, what <laughs> Cherry was his yeah. Android wife. And then she went, uh, she went rogue and he had to chase her down or something like that. So yeah, it's uh, people, that, it, that idea has been there for a while. I mean, I do like that our leaders are going, well, I don't really consider Elon Musk my leader, but I like it that the smart guys are going up and they're saying, Hey, going to Washington saying, we got to put some regulation on this. We got to kibosh this a little bit because it's growing too fast. Well, yeah, just like I said outside, this is what the movie Terminator is about. Yeah, <laughs> you it know, is. the rise of the machines. I mean, you've got to you got to regulate this a little bit, and I know you, a lot of people out there don't like a lot of government, but this is something you got to regulate quickly. Kayla, outside of work, obviously, what have you dealt with any other uh, AI things that you know of? You know I mean? No, I mean not that I know of, but I mean my whole job is AI and all that kind of what? stuff. So, so you see it every day. I mean, is it getting better or is it getting scarier? Or is it getting well, I mean, I deal with it with the self-driving cars, so that's right. my aspect of it. My realm of it is dealing with that. Have you seen a big increase, a big, uh, I guess, jump in knowledge and what it, the car did five years ago to now? Um, Actually, yes. I mean, we took some leaps lately that I never thought we would actually be able to do. Um, It's still not 100%, but it's doing things that I was like, no. And even now, I'm like, no, I don't want it to do that. That's too much. Can, That's you, can you teach our vacuum to... <laughs> I, you would think that, like, Roombas and sharks and all that, that technology would be, like, flawless. But that thing's dumb as hell, and it has a personal vendetta against I me. tried to get it, it to It does. Go... If you're mad about something, it'll go to that area that it... you're mad about. No, I tried to get it to go to the kitchen and, and uh, vacuum, and it went to Kayla's room instead. And then it likes to eat my foot. Yeah. You would think that it'd be able to sense that and yeah. then not huh. go towards a foot. There's a foot there. Or, oh, look, there's a pile of shit there. No, it aims for the pile I think of shit. It takes you to an emotional <laughs> place you don't want to be. It makes you follow it to a, like a bedroom. You're like, no. Well, and then you have to search for it. They ought to do a horror lost. movie on an iRobot. That just. 
<laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Wasn't I Robot a horror movie? Oh, yeah, no, well, I Robot. <laughs> what what was I Robot was the one with Will Smith, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the AI taking over yeah, the world. It was. <laughs> oh, I, I was talking about your. Little oh, the vacuum, robot. The vacuum you're, cleaner you're trying vacuum, to take over the yeah, world? the vacuum cleaner trying to take over the <laughs> world. Sure, at this point, they'll make one. <laughs> so, exactly. Have a horror thing. movie of your vacuum cleaner. But no, you, you think about Terminator and Skynet, and that was that was all artificial intelligence, and all of a sudden the machines start taking over, and then a human has to send, you know, a human tries to send Arnold Schwarzenegger back to kill the kid. I'm thinking Terminator 2, but... You know, yeah, but it's getting. I mean, it's getting weird. I'm not saying I know it's movies and it's fiction and everything, but man, at least get an idea that wait, someone someone came up with this idea. It could happen. Maybe it could right. Happen. If you <laughs> thought about a movie that your somebody is emulating to make that, that's amazing. So, yeah, so know. they say that movies stand that's the test scary. of time. Mark, have you other than? Uh, you know, Kayla's job. Have you dealt with AI personally, like at work? Or I have like not that? yet, but it not yet. I mean, I'm assuming it can probably be. You know, with my DJ business, I could. It could be a virtual oh, DJ. It could yeah, be. I had that idea for a business. And I want to talk to you about sending a virtual DJ. Here's your playlist. Here's your virtual DJ. Plug him in. Push play. The, and, pro- the problem is, it takes away the personality of the whole aspect. Oh, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. A hundred percent. I I don't. But there are people that like playlists, and that's all they want. So I always think yeah, we're they don't always going to be in business because our personalities and the way we do. Yeah, things, they but. don't. Sometimes they just don't want people talking. They that's want true. music. Or, but the thing is, you can have a virtual person there talking. Hi, my name is Max Hedrum, and you know, welcome to the Joan Smith wedding. Max Hedrum. <laughs> do you remember who Max Hedrum? No, was? she was too young. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but I'm saying you could have a virtual DJ there. Yeah. Talking th- between the songs. I agree. Yeah, there's and, all can we. There's things we can do. It's it's going to be crazy, man. AI is going to. It's a little scary, and I, I feel more bad for your generation because we'll be old and we'll just be ah, yeah. get off my lawn. Right, we won't but, care. Yeah, it'll just <laughs> mow be my lawn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go mow my lawn. If I can pay for an AI guy to come up and 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 do my weeds in the backyard, and how, I don't have to talk to anybody. How I'm, cool I'm, would I'm that cool. be? That would be awesome. <laughs> I'm here but, to pick weeds. Well, yeah, but you think about it, even Domino's in recent years is sending driverless cars like Kayla works with, with your pizza in it. Well, so, have you not been to those restaurants that have the little robot that brings you its, your drinks? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Yeah, there's one out here in area that you, there's a lot of them now, actually, that it's just a little robot and you order your drink on the screen or whatever, and then it'll... Obviously, I'm pretty sure someone's making the drink and putting it on Little Robot, but it kind of eliminates waiters in a sense because they can just put the drink on there and then send it to table 10 and it pulls over, does its little dance and then does whatever. Or I've seen like some hotels. Hmm. I've seen it on TikTok. I haven't seen that yet. That you can order water, towels, whatever from downstairs. They'll put it in the little robot. It'll get on the elevator, go to where it needs to go. Wow. There you go. Now that concierge is out of business. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be eighty percent service industry. Yeah, the service industry is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, but so. it's it's gonna be ugly. So, I I have not that I know of dealt with AI personally. You know, like I said, these drive throughs and and my my psycho vacuum cleaner that won't do what I tell it to do. But other than that, I haven't dealt with it out. In the real I really world. wanted to take you guys on the self driving cars that we had before they retired them. I thought it would have been funny to see your guys' reactions, but... So where does a self-driving car get retired? <laughs> Landfill. <laughs> does it really? <laughs> no, ultimately. So they, they're they breaking down all the cars, like taking all the technology off of it and all that kind of stuff. But because how they have to set up the car, they can't just turn around and be like, all right, here's a minivan for free. So you have to completely just like take it apart for parts and... Well, yeah, but we could still we could we could have a, a one you of your cars from here right now. One, no, no, not this far. Out. Doesn't go this far. They out. don't sell them to the well, public. No. They just expanded their map, the biggest in the world. Now I thought it'd come out here. No, mm. not yet. Okay. At some point, it was supposed to, but I guess not. But okay, but I could be like downtown at the at the basketball game, and I could hail one of your cars, couldn't I? Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, those cars to me are just way smaller. So I don't think you guys would be as comfortable in it well, yeah. versus the other one. Yeah, but that'd be fun to do. The ba- yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I, 
I don't Have know who's at fault. Have you taken one before? It's a big... Th- My whole thing is, who's at fault in an accident if, I mean... It would be the car's fault. It would be the company's fault. So I Depen- what Depending, the I mean, if on. someone ran a red light and, and hit the right. autonomous car, then right. it's their fault. So I think it would be just as just as determined by the accident itself at, who would be at fault. Now, it doesn't speed, right? It does nope. the speed limit? Exactly. And it's so frustrating when you're on the freeway <laughs> with it. Well, yeah, everybody's passing in. Yeah, no, I, I can't stand it. Because even as the drivers, when we are in them, for whatever sort of reason, if we're manually driving them, we have to go the speed limit too, which obviously makes sense. But it's also like, I'm going 85 in my personal car. And then you expect me to actually be able to do the speed limit here? Well, it's probably going to cut down on fatalities. And uh, I mean, to me personally, nothing's going to replace a good driver. The, the the reaction of you know a, a a driver knowing you think a computer can't replace a good driver um i don't think the cars could ever fully be driverless kind of thing because of certain situations i feel like what's going to happen is that either it's going to become more readily available to the public kind of like how tesla has but even then tesla is like not that great from everything that i've seen So I think at some point, people are going to stop using their personal cars and they're going to use these other self-driving cars to get around town. So at some point, these self-driving cars will take over and everything will be somewhat... And do you think it'll be per ride or will it be a monthly subscription? Would it be... uh... I could see both. Yeah, That's a really good... I could see both. Especially people living in the city, they're going to do a monthly subscription where... You and I might, oh, so we, we how, need an Uber home or whatever. Then, I mean, how even would you base that? An unlimited pass, thousand dollars a month for your transportation. I mean, whatever, I mean, whatever the cost is. I don't. know. That could be I, crazy. Yeah, but see, to me, I don't think a computer can anticipate, and maybe just because I'm one of those drivers, I drive everywhere. I don't like when other people drive, so I drive everywhere. Um, they don't anticipate like we're on our way over here tonight, and some car was kind of tailgating another car. I anticipated something might happen, so I backed off a little bit. Would, it anticipates that. Would the, the computer's going to say, okay, this guy's driving like an idiot, so I'm going to back off? Mm-hmm. So it recognizes I, I, I don't know, so. drivers in other vehicles. Well, what the car's doing. Yes and no. I mean, obviously, in this stage and what I currently work with, it does. These ones aren't as hesitant as the other cars were. But no, I've had I've had a personal experience in these cars that we are making a left hand turn. You know, the car's doing it on its own. I'm just there as the glorified babysitter, and it's a double lane, you know, turn, and she's just taking forever. I just call the car a she. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, the car's taking forever to make this turn, and I get fed up, and I'm like, "What are we doing? Why aren't we making this turn?" So I, you know, got it out of autonomous mode, went into manual, but I didn't accelerate. All of a sudden, this Ford truck was going to run the red light and was like inches from slamming into the front of the car. So the car could see him. I couldn't see him. And I, yeah, ever since then, I was like, I'm letting the car do this thing unless it's going to So it anticipated the freaking, wow. It saw that car coming. Wow. Because I was just going to, you know, reiterate when driving over here, we're both doing, you know, 65, 70 or whatever. But that guy was riding too close that's to the That's an other amazing car. story if yeah. it recognized that. If wow. You, you have to think, and that's what I always remember. It, with these new cars, I don't know how many. And the other cars, I'm pretty sure it was public knowledge. But there's so many cameras on top of the car that have a 360 view that this thing can see all around where I can only see X, Y, Z. True. ABC and even someone thing. like me that only sees half of what most of you guys see. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, that's kind of an amazing. I, for those of you who don't know, there. I'm blind in my right eye, so my vision stops at like what a hundred or whatever. <laughs> One eighty is the full view, right? I think so. So mine stops at like a hundred or whatever. Um, yeah. So yeah. Wow. Well, so okay. So maybe I rescind my fact that uh, or my. I mean, idea obviously, that a good like I said, isn't replaced. <laughs> in certain situations, it is not great. It is not great at all. I've had plenty, you know, but in that moment, I, I took over because I was frustrated with what it was doing. Had I accelerated, had I done anything different and same with that guy, 
he would have either smashed into my door or at least smashed into the front of the car. Because I looked when I, you know, everything was finally done in the middle of the intersection. And like I said, he was inches from hitting one of the sensors on the car. That's amazing. I I wish this country would invest in, you know, uh, speed trains. I wish uh, from... A to B in 40 minutes instead of if you don't yeah, want to bullet fly. Trains, right? bullet trains yeah. that they're I wish we would invest in that well I feel like they're trying to do that with the light rails and stuff like that it's just not as quick no I'm saying I want to be able to go from here to Vegas in well, aren't they two hours well, well all right so the bullet train in China's is it China or Japan where wherever China, the hell it is where, yeah okay but that thing travels like 120 150 miles right. an hour or something like that and you can get across the country pretty quickly yeah so. That's what I, I don't understand why we never invested in over the years. And now I like what Elon Musk is doing. He's putting in 65 miles of stuff underneath the Vegas, Vegas yeah. city to, to yeah. connect everything. And that's a great idea. I mean, there are right. speed trains that are going to get you from the Mandalay Bay all the way to far, you know, Fremont. far. Yeah, whatever you want to do. So I think that's cool. But I, I we've, we've never really invested a lot in. I wonder though, could 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 they use the existing railways and put bullet train on those, or would it have Probably to be a whole not. all new would, track? Yeah, and then they're where are you going to get well, the that money? Would, and that would create jobs. You know? Well, yeah, who the hell knows? That's a whole nother show. <laughs> no, it, is, it is a whole new other show. But I mean, it, it's it's interesting that story on that. So you so yeah, you have is. seen big differences then in the in the wire in the cars. advancements in the in the advancements in the, yeah. So you you live it every day. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it is. See, because it's. I won't know it until I see it. I thought the big thing was the mechanical bar making me a drink in Vegas. The, it was the wireless bartender. Would, I was like, oh, wow. But then all they did was well, the same amount of alcohol. And I mean, if you think about it, those those machines, like, uh, remember when you can get a cup of coffee out of a machine? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you hit, I want coffee with cream and sugar. That kind of was making your coffee for you. So stuff's been... From that to what we have now, that's you know, anticipating accidents. Those were like cool that. little machines. The coffee was god. <laughs> I always awful. remember them in the hospital. The coffee was, was yeah, awful. Yeah, it was like a quarter or whatever. And, and they had the poker cups. Yeah, and played poker on the bottom. Did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they had the little handles on the, you know, because it was right, hot, so you had the right, little right. handles. Yeah, those were cool, man. So I mean, yeah, we'll eventually get to where we don't have to do anything. I suppose. That's not good. No, it's not. It's not good on the mind. It's not good on the soul. No, it's not. It's you, not. You can't do nothing in life. It doesn't. Uh, it's not a positive thing. And you're supposed to interact with people and enjoy life and not be afraid of everybody and everything all the time. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of different. So I guess I want to embrace AI, but in other ways, a, yeah, our, our roadies over there is going, hell no, I don't want to see anybody. Any, and want- there's a lot of people that think that way. So maybe I mean I, I well get it. I mean let, let, if you think about it like um, the one thing I, I saw that made me less uh, against the the dry rose cars um, blind people that are on their own and can't get a ride to the hospital so they call the dry rose car and it takes them to the hospital so yeah there's great there's all kinds there's of all good sorts for it. of reasons for it and and good for it but the fact that it, we're letting it take over the world and we're people are losing jobs and stuff like that that's the that's the disheartening thing about it. Yeah, it's 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 going to be different, and you're going to grow up with a lot more of it. We're going to, we'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be the next generation kids who are really going to grow up with it, and it's. it's but think think about like Kayla's grandkids though; they they won't have to do anything. They'll they'll be Elroy Jetson right away. I mean, this this world's not ready for this. It's got there's it's not it's prepared for forty percent unemployment because. Jobs yeah. are being eliminated that quick. We're yeah. not ready for that. We'll be all living in the slums. Yep. Yeah. You, you think you saw a depression in the 30s. Oh, my God. It would be yeah. catastrophic nowadays. Yeah. Can you imagine? No, yeah. I don't even want to. That's like a. All right. Now we're, now we're getting yeah. depressing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's the want? Oh, yeah. Wait, wah, which one was? Uh, I think it's five. There yeah. it is. Good guess. Yeah. <laughs> so on that note. On that I note, know. we're going to take a little break. We're going to come back and talk. Well, I was going to say we're going to talk we're about something happier. Up, okay. Do you know what? We're bringing up Metro Center Mall for a few people to know. And it'll go into malls in your area of where you live. But we're going to reminisce about something coming up. So. All right. Yeah, I can do all right, we're back. We're reminiscing a little. We're reminiscing, yeah. I mean, this happened in 2020. Right, so they we knew closed. the inevitable was happening. Yeah, but, uh, our beloved Metro Center Mall, where Mark and I spent a lot of our childhood, um, once oh, and opened in 1973 as the fourth largest mall in the U.S. 
had an ice skating rink. Ice skating rink. Um, a full, uh, remember the, uh, it had like two different arcades. It had one across where the movie theater was, and then it actually had an arcade. Well, no, when they, they closed the ice skating rink and made that uh, like a, a boardwalk sort of thing with games and video games and uh, carnival games. And right. Like that. And that happened in the later years. And then they built the theater and that all went away and it was all the- movie theater down there. Well, was it Lunn Avenue Marvel Club there once? Wow. Yeah, that's really going There's bad. a name. Yeah, Jesus. Lunn Avenue Marble Club, <laughs> Club was there. But what was the restaurant that was right always next to the movie theater? Uh, across from it or next to it? They're right next, next to it, it was always. Next to it was the gold mine. Across the hall was the uh, hot dog on the stick. Is that what you're talking about? No, it was a sit-down restaurant. It was like I wanted oh, a Ruby oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Originally was Farrell's. Oh, it was a Farrell's. When we yeah, moved but out you here, remember a Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, when yeah. we moved out here in 1980, that was a Farrell's, and that was a very busy Farrell's. Farrell's was a great ice cream place. Uh, they had this uh, they had this thing called the Earthquake. It was like 18 scoops of ice cream, and the guys would come out carrying it on a stretcher. Yeah, my brother used to work for Farrell's, and they, yeah, it was pretty, it was, there, there were, I don't understand why it never made it. I mean, because it was a lot of Me birthday either. parties. Yeah. And, and really, remember Swenson's? Swenson's ice cream wasn't that bad. They had the big... Yeah, that was at the north end of the yeah, mall, so outside the mall. Yeah, that's probably why. Swenson's probably came in and then... No. Farrell's was... And their ice cream was good, too. My brother worked for Farrell's. He was the one yeah. that was with the... Rant, 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 and they would make a big spectacle. And yeah, they would... Lights blinking and flashing. I bet and you shit. if you do that in downtown Gilbert, it would work. There is a... I thought there was still a Farrell's somewhere. They just reopened yeah, a Farrell's somewhere. Or Scottsdale or something like that. But then, yeah, the movie theater, then the little gold mine arcade that we used to hang out at, then the food court with uh, with the hot dog on a stick and the pizza we used to, pizza mori we used to get there all the time. Right. And so, I mean, the, so where we're kind of going with this is malls are, they're, they they're are te- even. They're, they they're, are tearing down our, our beloved Metro Center. They're actually uh, dismantling the building and, and putting in a big, um, but they're tearing down malls everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. It's it's. A, I mean, we're this is like a childhood member that I'm sure in your hometown you got a mall that they're they're destroying. That was we used to. Oh my god, we would go pick up chicks. We'd freaking my <laughs> we Ford never, Granada. Well, we, we were, never we picked never, up a yeah. chick. <laughs> but you know, you would just cruise and remember it would get the uh, patrons uh, who own the businesses so pissed off because yeah. we were just driving around their business and everything. Yeah, your the... dad took you to Metro Center quite a few times. Well, my cousins lived right there, so we'd always go to that one. We never went to Arrowhead. We always went to yeah. Metro. Right. And then uh, Golf and Stuff. And Yeah, Arrowhead's still around. They're well, not an outside. Golf and Stuff's now still castles and coasters, and that's got like uh, a roller coaster and bumper boats. And, and, and they're four, keeping that there. Four miniature golf, and they're keeping that. And their miniature golf is cool. They're not. It's not like a, a Four miniature, miniature golf. golf. Yeah, four it's, miniature it's cool. Golf. You know. But I guess the reason we're talking about this is the mall... Any has, mall has back back in the eighties was was where community, be it the teenagers would would gather and yeah there was there was it always pleasant no was there a lot of fights sure, but people would go parents would drop us off in the mall drop us off in the mall and then they'd pick us up at four o'clock with the with the collect call from yeah <laughs> you have a collect call from we're ready to get picked up yes, <laughs> yes. and they'd hang up right away right, yeah. Right? <laughs> But yeah, we'd get dropped off at the mall for the day, and we'd you know eat in the food court and walk around the mall. We never really shopped. No. I can't think of anything I actually bought at Metro. And Park. that would kind of piss me off if I had a shop in there, and he just kept people just walking back. You got damn you kids! What are you stocking <laughs> on? Come in and buy something. <laughs> no, uh, we we both bought um, our first major purchases at K Jewelers. There, absolutely, at the mall. <laughs> we did do that. We did buy rings. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, let's not talk about I'll that. I'll never forgive you for that. That's it's over. There was a little. It wasn't a little store, but there was that clothing store that would always have really good prom dresses. I loved that store. I is that is that remember. Deb that you were referring to on Facebook? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was always a precious moment, a yadro. Those because my ex wife actually worked in one. It was a precious moment. It was the collectibles, the ceramic collectibles. Yeah. My second job was Carl's Jr. at the mall. Trying to think of what else was in I there. I stole some silly bands from the hot topic uh, at Metro Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, that's why they're gone under. They, if you went in on, they wouldn't have gone you under. You stole something? No, oh, God. my friend actually stole it. But uh, that's what it's always. My accomplice. friend did it, Dad. I right. didn't do no, it. No, he did, and then he's like, "Run!" I was like, "Why? I'm a good noodle." Was hot topic around when 
And not not in our day. That Spencer's. Spencer's Spencer's was always around the gag oh, gifts. No, Those it were w- it was Spencer's. It the gags the give poster. were the, you could always get cool rock posters. Now the whole back section is all dildos and adult toys. <laughs> if you go into it is me and yeah. Holly are walking back. I'm like, holy crap! When did they turn it all into this? Yeah, it was dildo was, heaven. Yeah, Spencer's Spencer's gifts was uh, one of the stores we always hit. Um, the stupid T-shirts. Yeah, a lot of t-shirt shops. Remember that one place and, you know, moving out here from New York, never really seeing a real mall. We had, you know, our mall, but it was nothing. It was smaller than Valley West Mall. Um, The alley. Remember the alley? The alley was, uh, they did the exterior of these stores like you were in the alley in the city. So it was all like cobblestone floors and. The walls were painted like black. I don't remember like that one. You don't remember the alley? No, it, I there don't. was five, six, seven stores in there, and you'd walk through the alley. And um, the this store, was in Metro Center? Yeah, it was in Metro Center, but it was made to look like you what were What part in, of Metro, though? I mean. The, the alley was um, go in the food court. Right. Go up to the end, make a left. And the alley was right down. No, I'm sorry. The alley was down at the other end, all the way down the other end by Sears. Top floor. Hmm. I don't remember that. Yeah, and uh, so that was like that was really cool. Even when like, we had visitors come out from Europe, we'd take them to the alley because it was just looked so cool in there and stuff like that. Um, I don't. Do you remember that? No, that was way that? before oh. my time. Yeah, well, I, I remember buying a license plate in the alley, a license plate thing for oh yeah, they, someone's car. <laughs> I don't remember uh, when all the the so. The mall got so busy they didn't know where to put more people that actually wanted to, you know, advertise. So they gave them the middle of the walkway. Carts. Yeah, start getting kiosks. Yeah, they start. Stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> because that's how busy Metro was. Every store was taken, so they would give these kind yeah, of they kiosks. Were, they were cheaper alternative too. You know, getting a kiosk stand, but <clears throat> working at Carl's Jr. there and uh, getting able to travel the back hallways of the mall. Is it like Disneyland? It's kind of like Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. kind of like Disneyland. So you've heard it here. Disneyland is so just like working in the mall. There was back hallways and ladders to the second floor. And you could actually, and you can't get lost because you obviously know where you're at. But it was uh, it was fun little uh, secret passages, so to speak. You know? I guess that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. I remember actually picking up your first wife and helping her take trash out and back. And I was in there because I had never made it to that section of the mall into their back alley. Well, she was so short she couldn't probably get that. <laughs> She's probably yeah. jumping to, can you put that in there, please? But we'd get all our deliveries at Carl's Jr. through these back alley doors and stuff like that. So that that was always a, a thing for me. But but just as a kid and the glass elevators they had in there, they didn't have glass elevators in Syracuse. Yeah, anymore. that was cool at the time. <laughs> in 1979, they didn't I have glass elevators. I never worked specifically at the mall. I worked at the movie theater out at AMC outside the mall. Oh, outside the mall. Uh, yeah, I remember that. But I, I don't think I ever actually worked in the mall. Yeah, no, Carl's Jr. is the only job I had in the mall, and that Paradise that, Valley Mall, I worked at Shogun Express in the mall. Oh, okay, okay. And but PV, they're rebuilding. My, my time at the mall was only like two, three months, and then they moved me to I remember the, when Paradise Valley Mall was like the hoity toy. It was like the Scottsdale Mall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. now not. I so mean, how many malls are left now? I know Arrowhead's thriving every time Scotts, I go there. It's busy. Yeah, Scottsdale. Scottsdale Fashion Center. Now, is that is that a mall? Yeah. Or is that an outdoor mall? No, no it's, it's a mall. Mall, okay. It's a mall. So that that's all, and that's high dollar stuff. Um mm-hmm. They are redoing PV Mall. That's going to be, they're actually redoing it. So I thought they to, were turning it into similar to Metro. They're making a, a. Are they? Yeah, I thought it was no. going to be like Metro's being torn down. Metro was, again, a giant building, fourth largest in the, in the country at a the time. They're tearing everything down. Wow. Part of it's going to be a park. Part of it's going to be apartments. Part of it's going to be a multi use. They are putting a, a band shell there to have concerts there. So they're making this big old little town. In, in the, on the Metro Center property. Okay. Isn't that what they're doing with PV as they well? They might be. Okay. And then, so you have... The mall, uh, the mall is dead. You have Mills Mall. Arizona, Arizona Mills. Mills. Okay, and that's still there, right? Yeah, that's okay. that's Arizona Mills Mall. Santan Mall. That's outdoor. That's not an indoor okay. mall. That's an outdoor. So there's still some surviving malls. I just don't understand why Arizona thinks it's okay to have, have so many outside malls. It, it doesn't the, make a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, for eight months it does. Okay, seven months. But I, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah. the, I mean, the theory of it's nice, you know, strolling outdoors and stuff like that. But I, I guess we could say the same for, for the back in the Northeast. For three months out of the year, who's going to walk outside? Yeah, I mean, everybody. <laughs> it, see, I would think malls are still prevalent in the East, East Coast. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But 
Uh, again, taking that place away where people meet up, people just start meeting up and everything's online. No, never, they're they're meets, all in yeah, their own are... message boards and groups and shit like that. And, and I don't know what's it's it's gonna be bummed. It's just people are missing out on human interaction and actually seeing people roll their eyes and I don't know. There's there's stuff being said for interactions. With, so uh, favorite memory from the mall? Oh wow, that's a great question, man. I. I it was just fun. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, there really wasn't something. You would really just get dropped off. You'd see all your friends, and then, you know, on the weekends, you'd, you'd, you'd hang out, and you'd talk to girls. I mean, we're 13, 14 years old. It was fun. I mean, I, there was, I just remember the times. I really don't have a set. It's just we did it so much. Uh, and if it wasn't there, it was Valley West. Because so. I'm the only one that has a memory here. Me, me, Mark, and Joey went ice skating. They had an ice skating rink in Metro Center Mall. None of us knew how to ice skate, so all we did was I do remember that all we do is get enough speed to where we'd fall on our ass and hit the wall. And so here's these three kids just throwing themselves up against, and the then wall. we'd laugh at it. That's <laughs> that's what we would do. We'd laugh. That makes all the sense. That's the, the mental. But we did it, we, and we like, hey, let's do that again. Hey, cool. Who could go faster? Who had the bigger spill? Who hit the wall the hardest? Or whatever. You know, yeah. Was. And then as soon as that was there, it was gone. Yep. But. That was uh, that's one of my one of my I don't know about my favorite memories. I have memories of working there too. Now you're younger, so you got to have something. You got to remember Metro. Literally, the only one I can we went to Metro all the time, but it was never to like do anything. I would want to say it's when my friend stole those silly bands. Me and Kay would go there. And there was this one store that had these uh, these uh, guns that shoot. That shout out foam foam rubber discs. So her and I would play with those a little bit. We used to do that. Like, I always like. Yeah, me too. Very, what very was the store that had where you could sit in the massage chairs and it had like the? Those were just a kiosk. No, 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 no. It was a full fledged store, and then it had all the like. It's just useless, expensive stuff. It would oh. have like the floating earth. Oh, the shit's on that's on the Sharper airplanes. Image. Sharper, Sharper image, Sharper image. Yeah. yeah. And you would sit in the chair and you'd sit there for and it would be forty nine. Not everything was so overpriced or whatever, right. but you thought it was all futuristic. Sharper image is still a thing. Yeah, it's still a thing. <laughs> it's just mostly online now. Carla, well, hot dog on a stick. I always just laughed at those. I hats. never understood how it made it. Is it still open in places? Yeah, I think it's California. It's still pretty big. There's one at um. What is that? It's a corn dog. Well, no, like no, I know they put hot dog I cheese on a stick, lemonade, and, and all that. Kind the of lemonade stuff. is great. There's such a funny story about that because I took mom to San Diego with us one time, and that's all she wanted to do was just go to hot dog on a stick at the beach. Really, I can see it on the beach. Okay, all right, because it's whatever. And so, like, we get there, and they're supposed to be open, and like, no one's there. So then, somehow, we came up with this elaborate story that like whoever was there died. Like, it was so (laughs) fucking random. (laughs) So then we went back later before we left, and then all of a sudden, like, everyone was there, and we were like, "Oh, so you guys didn't die?" It was a weird, morbid story for whatever reason. That was so funny. You gotta have lemonade on the They beach. had great lemonade at that uh, hot dog on the stick, though. Because they have the cherry one. You worked yeah. at that gyro place. I didn't work there. We That was the first time I ate a gyro was at the mall. You didn't yeah. work at there? Didn't you get hired for that place? No. No. Nope. I could have sworn. I we used to get the pizza. They had a pizza drink special we used to get every time we Some went there. Some uh, Barros. No, that was uh, Pizza Amore. I so said at the top of the segment. Sabaros is only in the mall, it seems like. Yeah, but that's a more of a 90s, 2000 thing now. The the pizza place in the mall is called Pizza Amore. It was right next to Jade Express, Carla's still favorite. Well, besides David Kwan's, Carla's still favorite fried rice. <laughs> David Kwan's was pretty good fried rice. That was a great little Chinese or Japanese restaurant. Yeah, I wonder if Jade Chinese. Express is going to open outside the mall. I wonder if they did anything. Because they, they had really good really good fried rice for and being that, in the mall. You know, that damn good Chinese food, that damn place we went, me, you, and Joey, that was inside that South little... South China Buffet. Oh, it was awesome, <laughs> man. So good. That was in a mall of sorts, too, that but was that was more mall. of an office complex. Yeah, and I, uh, I don't know. And it was always busy at night. Yeah, we, we'd go there for lunch. The damn, fun- damn kids from bowling coming over here and ordering Chinese food. Yeah, now, <laughs> now there's nothing there. Nope. No. Well, I mean, the thing's still there, but it's all off. But that's complex. not a good part of town anymore, man. No, and that's the sad part. And that's what we were discussing with the... We used to be able to ride our but Now you can't do that. We no. used to ride our bikes all the way down there. But yeah, the, the closing of, of, of Metro Center, um, and they're building this new 
whatever they're putting in community, whatever. But man, the neighborhoods around. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to get pulled off, man. Uh, there's too now, much. We, we don't want to judge anything, but no, the neighborhood to the south is very old. It was built in the 50s. It's an old neighborhood. It's but a you high know crime. Bobby McGee's now Bobby Q still thriving. That is in that still there, and it does very well. Yeah. Um, but on the north end of Metro Center, boy, when we go to, when we, every time everyone knows we leave here, we go to Cane's for uh, chicken and fries, and we go to that Cane's there, and it's just tweakers all over the place, all over that Cane's and that QT there. The roadway in is one of the hotels on the outside of that Metro Center. Yeah, um, that's that's just drug dealers and and murderers. And you don't <laughs> want to you don't want to live in any of the apartment complexes over there. I, no, you just, no, you don't. don't you? You lived. Yeah, I you lived right there. there. We did thirty something there. That was uh, I've never I never lived in any of the apartments there. Yeah, it was just a tit. But I hope I mean I hope they can clean it up. Yeah. I mean there's I, mean, I, I would like but to as, see them clean as it up. As we say goodbye to the mall and our beloved Metro Center Mall. We, we need some farewell music. Too bad we don't have oh, any. Uh, I'll add some in. No, isn't there like a some We just Leanne, got in trouble from Spotify for that. Isn't there some Leanne Rhymes goodbye song or something like that or I'm sure that you should put something in it there. I'll put something in it. That's just depressing right there. All right. We um you know, we never really take the time to to thank our listeners. Um George from uh, Harrisburg, yeah, thank, uh, North thank Carolina. You, thank you all to all of you. <laughs> I, I'm pleading with you. We're we're very close to our, our thousand goal. Please share the show if we you, had a very good download week last week. Thank yeah, you. There was yeah. quite a few downloads so last week. Again, remember if you don't like it, maybe your friends will. So please share the show. Go to our Facebook and page. So what and if like you us. don't like us? Just put it on because it's yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah. Just turn it on and then turn the volume down. Yes, exactly. That's fine. And then I'm, tell o- you, I'm okay with that. I, I would be okay if I saw a post. Hey, listen to Mark and Jim. Turn it down. Yeah. Just, just download their show and then turn it down. You don't have to listen to them. Just but we download love their you show. guys anyway. We love you guys anyways. And we're, I was told we had to raise our game today. Did we, Carla? Do you think we raised our game a little? Yeah. All I right. I think you're more interesting. Uh, yes, at least. all right. All right, I think all right so check us out on Facebook at Our Work World and Instagram, same thing, Our Work World. That's it. Mark, how's your new show coming? In? You we ready? are starting this week, so Talking Cards with the coach and Mark is uh, and happening this week. What about Scott's? Oh, yeah. Got I got to plug uh, Scott. Yeah, it's uh, basically, I forget what he did. I think it was actually Jacksonville Jaguar talk with Scott Duffy is exactly right. what he did. Jacksonville Jaguar talk But that talk actually to Scott was recorded Duffy. today, guys. If you are a Jacksonville fan or you just want some good football insight, actually, uh, Scott's really good at that. So that's exactly what we're going to be All offering. Right. We'll, be, talking we'll cards, be linking so. that from our Facebook page. And then uh, Mark and uh, Coach are coming up with a uh, talking cards. Hopefully that will be up here in the this next week. couple of days. This yep. week, okay. This week, so, I hope it'll be up. This I don't. I, you, that's where you're going to help me. Uh, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. I, all right. I, Kayla, I, thank I you. I think as I have usual. to wash the cat that night. Okay, bye. Groupie, <laughs> right. groupie, bye. Carla. Thank you, groupie, bye. Carla. All right. All right. Well, We're goodbye, out of here. everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. <laughs> <laughs>